Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot. It is officially Memorial Day weekend. I wanted to come out and enjoy the weekend at the parks, see what the crowd levels are like, and just have a wonderful Disney day. So, let's go do this. And there's not a better way to start off the day than coming and greeting Minnie and Mickey as they greet us. Bye Minnie! Have a great weekend! See ya, pal! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I am really enjoying these kind of distant meet and greets. You just walk up, you take your picture, you say hello, and then you go about your business. I like that a lot better than waiting in long lines to meet the characters. I mean, it has its up and it has its downs, but this is actually pretty decent. I wasn't expecting to hop right into a ride, but I also wasn't expecting to see a walk-on in any of the rides. Like I said, this is Memorial Day weekend. I had a fight to get a pass for today. And look at that, Spaceship Earth, five minute wait, and everyone's just walking on, so might as well. Can't pass up Spaceship Earth when it's a walk-on. I can smell Rome burning already. For your safety, Whoa. During your slow rotating journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop momentarily. Your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop momentarily. The choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn. Well, that was very awesome to have our first ride of the day be a walk-on. I think that's a good start to the day, and I'm excited to see what else we're going to get done as we go around Epcot. I mean, there's a good chance we can actually make that 2-0 for walk-ons and ride the seas with Nemo and friends, because that's a five-minute wait. Yeah, look at that five-minute wait, but holy moly, look at the crowd of people that just walked in there all at once. Still says five minutes, but I think we'll pass. After we hang out at Epcot for a little bit, we're gonna hop on over to the Beach and Yacht Club and meet up with some friends who came in for Memorial Day weekend. I haven't seen them in a while, they're in the videos in the past, and it's nice to see friends from out of town. I know a lot of people are excited for Food and Wine Festival, but I really do like all the pretty flowers for Flower and Garden. Like right now in Future World, it's just so beautiful. Let's aim for something that's probably going to have a higher expected wait time. And actually, I wanted to go ride this for a while. I haven't gotten on it, but Soren's been calling my name. I just love going to ride Soren. In fact, when I first moved down here, I had such a like Disney like like buzz that whenever I went to go to work, if I had like an hour or two before I had to go to work, I used to come to Epcot and ride Soren just to like get me all pre-gamed and pumped up for my shift. How awesome is that? Of course, at that time, it wasn't the Soren that's playing now. Even though I do like them both, I miss the original Soren. I miss the smell of the oranges and, oh, the music was just astounding. I don't normally look up the wait times, especially if I plan on riding it, so I actually just go there because if I'm gonna ride it, it doesn't matter what the wait time is. But I would guess that Soren's probably at like a 45 minute wait. But wow. Oh, you can photo bomb it. <laughs> Living with the land is a five minute wait. Now every single ride so far has been five minutes. Yeah, Spaceship Earth, the seas, and Living with the land. You think that's gonna be five minutes? You doubt <laughs> That was funny, they're all like, I doubt it. I mean, it was cool though, because like I said, the first three rides we walked into, five minutes. 
So how cool would it have been if Swarm was? But I can tell you it's not. 30 minutes though, that's not too bad. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh, are you going this way? <laughs> this way. <laughs> oh, that's how you go to your break? <laughs> I like it. The cast members in the land are being so camera friendly today. They're so excited. They're jumping in front of the camera and I love it. Soarin' the tower. Ooh, we're going into the new concourse. Seaside is my favorite. Okay, that one took 40 minutes. <laughs> but it's okay. 40 minutes is definitely worth the wait for Soren. Looks like they finally got rid of the separators on Soren too. Look at that. Fancy. Fun fact about Soren, the first idolistic like thought about it was constructed by a erector set from one of the lead imaginaries on the project. This was all erector. Safety face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth at all times while indoors. Guests that do not comply will be asked to leave. Thank you and enjoy your flight. always puts me in the good feels kind of mood. I love it. That's actually, I'd probably say the first ride that I rode and after I got off of it, I was just like, what was that amazing masterpiece that I just did? Like I was kind of like shook because I've always wanted to travel the world and uh, growing up, I really didn't actually travel anywhere. I never even came to Disney. I didn't leave the state of Pennsylvania until I was in my 20s and able to do so on my own. So like just to go on Soren, it was like the greatest thing ever. Now we're gonna continue on around Future World. I'd love to go see what Test Track is looking like and then also swing into Mouse Gears maybe before we head up the resorts to go meet with friends. I made a mistake again wearing the spirit jersey. I know you guys uh, got a lot of comments when I wore my jean jacket at the Magic Kingdom uh, a couple days ago. Actually, I think it was like two weeks ago. That was when I first came back from Pennsylvania. That was in the high 80s, low 90s. Right now, we are in the high 90s and we're gonna be like that for a couple days. And I sweat a lot naturally, so I like to wear a bunch of thick clothes because it kind of conceals the sweat, you know what I mean? It's a little trick, so I don't really get hot hot uh, I'll sweat if I'm in a t-shirt so I like to actually feel comfortable and if I feel comfortable I sweat less but right now around 7 o'clock this is the perfect temperature because it's a little bit windy out and the nights have been dropping down into the high 70s so it gets really cool later on in the day that's why I don't come out to the parks until a little bit after during the hot time since we're over here by Test Track, there is this place that I do want to stop and that's at the Sunshine Griddle because they always had that drink that I never got to try and I always said I was going to do it, but every time I come here it's closed and it looks like it's open now. It must be a weekend only stand. Epcot has a lot of those. Right here it is. The Joffrey's Coffee Cold Brew Cocktail. It's uh, cold brew with Kalula, coffee liqueur, and vanilla vodka. I wish that comes with coffee too, but I don't know if it does. I mean, it does sound like it does, but maybe it's just all liquor. 
good news is I found out that there is coffee inside the drink, so it's coffee and liquor. But the bad news is I'm not gonna be able to try it. It is cash only at that stand. I've never heard of that before. They were just like, sorry, cash only. And I was like, oh, well, it's kind of like the only thing I came over for. And uh, she was like, well, honestly, she's like, I would probably give it to you if it wasn't alcohol. And I was like, well, that's the sweetest thing ever. So maybe it just wasn't meant to be today. I'll have to come back. And next time on Epcot, I'm gonna make it a point to try that Joffrey's cold brew cocktail. I have to say, test track isn't that long of a wait either. I'm usually like seeing the queue all the way out here, but it's going kind of right in the door. I would bet that's probably about a 30 minute wait. Yeah, like they usually have everything lined up here for the uh, actual wait. It says 50 minutes. I had to yell there for a second. I bet you that came out probably not the way I wanted to, but when the cars go by, I was like, it says 50 minutes, but I don't think it's 50 minutes. There, there's no way. Now it's time to mask up because we're heading into mouse gear. I wonder if they have the new Loki magic band. I've seen that going around. That'd be cool to come across that. Maybe some other cool unique merchandise as well. Doesn't look like they have any of the Loki magic bands, but I'm not too sure what that band is there. It's in a yellow box. I think that's probably a Dooney and Burke, but I've never seen that box before. It's a Tinkerbell Dooney and Burke magic band. Wow, I haven't seen one of these before. It looks very fancy. It's got a nice little thing on it, nice golden thing. I don't know what the limited release is of this. Does it tell you on the back? No, it doesn't tell you. It looks so fancy though, doesn't it? What a box, what a presentation. That was a nice Magic Band, it was $50, but I really don't want a limited edition Tinkerbell Magic Band, only because I noticed they're not really doing anything special at the turnstiles anymore. So I used to collect Magic Bands because they did something special. I wanted the Reflections of Earth one, I think it was the Epcot 35, I always talk about it, and when you touch it says Reflections of Earth, but they don't do that anymore. I did ask about the Loki Magic Band, and they said that sold out within a day, so, Anyone that got that is pretty lucky, but I do appreciate these shirts. I like this shirt because it's all of the famous hats, like everyone's hats. You got Jafar's hat, Woody hat, Mickey ears, Steamboat Willie's hat, Aladdin's hat, Donald's hat, Sorcerer Mickey's hat, the Mad Hatter. Oh wow, so many hats. Now I think I'm gonna head on over to the Yacht and Beach Club and meet up with some of my friends. I wish I was able to get a hold of one of those fancy magic bands, but I'll keep my eye out. They said it was sold out in one day, but they might be in other stores around the parks. And also I'm thinking maybe it'd be easier if I end up actually going back out to my car and driving over to the Yacht and Beach Club because I'm way closer to the entrance. Oh, they got some friends. See, more friends. <laughs> I love running into friends. Those guys were so awesome. So anyways, like I was saying, I think it'd be easier to actually go get my car and drive to Yon Beach Club instead of walking all the way to World Showcase and International Gateway because the like, entrance or the front of the park is right there. The wait times were actually fairly all walk-ons today. Test track, I mean, it was always gonna be busy at test track. Soren was pretty decent. But, I have to say, I thought it was going to be a little bit busier than it was. You know what I mean? I love when you're walking out and Spaceship Earth starts to light up with its night colors and it's still daylight out. Look how beautiful this is. So majestic, I would say. I'm sure we're going to be grabbing some Memorial Day weekend cocktails, maybe at the Abracadab Bar or some of the other uh, lounges that are on the boardwalk. I'm just interested in seeing. Oh, hi guys. Wow, today has been like such an amazing day. I am so happy. So many amazing cast members. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Like I was saying though, I'm excited to go meet up with some friends and I'm not too sure what we're gonna do over at the boardwalk, but there's a lot of cool places that we can visit. And I'm just excited to hang out with people. And also, I wanna point out this Epcot right here. This is probably one of the few spots where they actually still use the old Epcot like font. Everything else has been changed. If you guys know of any other spots, let me know in the comments. This is the old and that is the new right there. Which one do you like better? 
like I said, the reservations are really hard to get nowadays, especially during Memorial Day weekend. I told you my friends are visiting. They're staying on Disney property and they can't actually come in the parks. They can't get a reservation. That's why I'm leaving Epcot to go hang out with them. But I mean, if they could get in, we probably would be drinking around World Showcase. And just like that, we are at the Yacht Club. Isn't it so pretty here at night? I love these bridges that you have to cross to get to the resort itself. I love the lighting, the little fountains, and all those lights on top of the resort itself. It's a very pretty resort. I don't think I've ever stayed at the Yacht Club before. It's one of the resorts I uh, haven't got to mark off my bucket list. Maybe in the future. And I just realized I grabbed my wrong hat out of the car. Well, looks like we're wearing a blue hat now. This is the Yacht Club, and this is all of the Boardwalk Resort Loop. I think we're actually going to make our way over to the Swan and Dolphin because the friends that I'm meeting up with have never been there before, so they don't know all the cool lounges, and I'm like, well, let me show you the way. <laughs> and there's my friends, Jen and Lars. Hello. Look at you. You were running to get out of the camera, and I, I'm like, no, you don't. Come back. <laughs> get, get back in. And I think we're going to head over to the dolphin side i always get confused and i don't know which one is which and all you have to do is look to see where the swan is or the dolphin but that don't look like a dolphin no it doesn't it looks like a fish it's a dolphin fish you do that on porpoise oh you're good yo i love walking through here and listening to the music i probably point it out every time i come here but Things that get me excited, I have a tendency to just keep on repeating because I like them so much. Oh yeah, there it is. Whoop. Wow, that is pretty. We're going through the spinny doors. I hope nobody comes in now. <laughs> We're definitely going to check out Todd English's Blue Zoo because it's very pretty in there. But first, up to the lobby bar because I have to say this is probably one of the more fancier lobby bars I've ever seen. Look at this. Isn't it so pretty? It's so shiny. Yeah, right? It's very sparkly, right? Uh, my friend Lars, he's getting the Smoking Roses, which is a smoke drink. Which is pretty pretty fancy. I think I need something to cool down, so I'm gonna stick to a nice ice cold beer. Maybe get a fancy drink later on. And my friend Jen, she got the pineapple crush. And I'm excited to see the presentation here because they are very skilled bartenders. I've had drinks before and they always they don't disappoint. It's fancy, oh yeah, very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I'll, I'll wait till we get out of the blast zone. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and there's my fancy beer. So you open it up. Oh yeah. You gotta get the smell. Get a little bit of that right on my cough. On my, yeah, there you go. Right there. Oh, did you see? It's actually taking away the, the foam. There it is. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, it is. <laughs> it smells really good. Cheers. Oh, that is good. <laughs> a very fun place to relax and have a drink. And they also give you pretzel chips. Yes, look at that. Three pretzel chips. I also like the floor here. I think it's very pretty. I think Abracadab Bar has the same floor, but it reminds me of Spaceship Earth a little bit. And now I think we're gonna head on down to Blue Zoo. And I'm excited because I haven't been here in a while. And it's such a pretty bar and it's all lit up blue because Blue Zoo and a lot of fish. Like that's one thing that I noticed, a lot of fish. There it is. Also, I love the fountain that's outside. I think it's one of my favorite water fountains at Walt Disney World. And that actually represents the fountain ice cream shop right here. I heard this has good ice cream, but I've never eaten there before. It's also a quick service location. They sell like sandwiches and stuff. Wow, it's very nice in here. Look at all this fanciness. Blue light and a QR code over right here. Oh, wow. These are nice. They are. Like they're like high top like boots. I think I'm going to actually get a zoo berry drink, which is a blueberry infused vodka with 
uh, hard rock candy syrup, but my friend is gonna get a strawberry, uh, what would it call, strawberry? Sangria. Strawberry lemonade sangria, and it's pretty fancy. Oh wow, and drinks are arriving. Is that the uh, strawberry lemonade? Yes. Some nitrogen. Yes. Wow. Holy moly! <laughs> what is that? Just make sure you wait until it starts smoking, sure. right? <laughs> Dry ice, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's probably what it is. What does my drink do? <laughs> it, it, it's delicious. But it tastes good. good. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Cool. You gotta cheers, Hal. Round two. Round two, zoo berry. Exactly. Round two at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Round two at the zoo. I like that. Oh, wow. Mine's delicious. That's Holy good. moly! That's good, That's good stuff. Mm, oh, wow! Good. Very delicious drinks there. Actually, I have to say, I'm not a big sweet drinker, but that tasted just like a blueberry pie. And I thought that was phenomenal. And my friend Jen's drink, that was cool. It was like something that you would get from Olga's Canteen. I like Blue Zoo. I definitely will come back. And now we'll make our way back to the Yacht Club. I'll tell you what though, I'm a little sad they shut off all the pretty trees here. I mean, it's a little bit late, it's just about 11 o'clock, but... 11.45. Oh, 11.45. <laughs> well, it's almost midnight. <laughs> I could definitely see these going all night long. If I was staying here as a resort guest, I would appreciate looking out my window and seeing these trees. Look at how beautiful the boardwalk is right now with that moon. And it's nice to see they fixed the dance hall lights. I think it was missing a letter for the longest time. But this is why I love this resort. Look at all of that. The lights reflecting off the water, especially the flying fish sign. It's like the only thing that's standing out right now. Just a big purple streak right in the middle of the water. And now we are back at the Yacht Club. So I think that's gonna do it for me today. It was a fun adventure. We went to Epcot, had some fun, checked on the wait times, rode some rides, and then we met up with some friends and had a little bit of a fun night at the boardwalk area. Mainly the Swan and Dolphin, but that's because they never went there before and they liked it a lot. Blue Zoo is a cool spot. And also the lobby bar is kind of like a sleeping gem. I always talk about it whenever I go there. I do like how they make their drinks there and they have uh, a beer that's dedicated just for that bar or just for the resort. It's pretty amazing. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.